How you guys doing? I'm Jordan from Custom Lights. Today we're modifying the Infinity FX35 by the Projector. Alright, so here we have the uh, Infinity FX35 projector and we're going to do a clear lens swap on this. Uh, this color mod uh, consists of two parts. One to actually swap out the lens and the second part is to modify the shield to enhance the sharpest and most colorful cutoff. So in order to take the lens out, you basically just have to take a flathead and, and pry the tabs out and get this lens holder out. Okay, so here we have just swapped out the lens. We got a much clearer lens that will give us a much more color, colorful cutoff. Now, once you drop this in, it may be perfect. Obviously, you need to fire this up to see for yourself. But the cutoff may become, you know, extremely sharp and extremely colorful. If that's the case, good. You just go ahead and complete the retrofit. But uh, sometimes it's not. It's colorful, but it's a little bit blurry. Um, of course, a lot sharper than the factory setup but it's just not quite perfect, so you need to fine tune it a little bit. In order to do so, you need to modify the shield. So next, we're going to get to the shield by separating the back bolt to the front part of the projector, which is held in place by four screws. Okay, so, um, what I was saying earlier is that once you put the clear lens on, more than likely the cutoff will be perfect and you don't have to do any further modification. Uh, but in the event that you do need to do it, there's, there's two ways of doing it. Okay, for one, you can pop the lens back out again and what you will see is that you will see the shield. And it actually has two slits, there's two separate shields next to each other. One way, one way of modifying it would be to simply just push on the shield, just take your two thumbs and gently push it back and try to, try to sort of bend back the shield a little bit. If you overdo it, you'll realize that the cutoff is blurry and it's, you know, not that sharp. So in that event, you will then simply just pull the shield forward. So it's going to be some, some place in between pushing it back and pulling it forward. So you can do that. Now put the lens back on, fire it up, look at the wall and see if the cutoff is, is sharp. That's one way of modifying it. Uh, another way of doing it is by eliminating the front shield. There's two shields and you can, you can just cut off the front part and that usually does the trick as well. So in order to get the shield out then for you to cut the front, front, uh, front part off of it, you need to take it out by losing these two bolts in the bottom. So, you can see that this shield only has, has one slit, you can actually, I don't know if the camera can catch this, but you can see where it used to be two slits, and we just simply cut off the front shield. That usually will do the trick as well. So here's the FX35 bi-down projector with the OEM lens. As you can see, the cutoff is not that defined, and we have the yellow color above the cutoff. And once we swap it out for a clear lens, we now have a much sharper cutoff and more blue color. Once again, I'm going to go back to OEM lens. And then back to the clear lens. 